we get a lot of questions about um, tethering. Mm -hmm. So, what what qualifies, or or what what do you do for the dogs when they're off tether? We have the um, we've put up a lot of fencing over the years. Um, the dogs have the five acres or whatever it is. <clears throat> that's completely fenced in the perimeter and we turn them loose for about an hour they run about that hour time and then there's individual sections within the kennel so we get them back into their sections and it we play with them and it takes about 30 minutes to get them all tethered back into the groups and then we move on to the next group. Um, you know, I, I think it's, when you have a solid crew of people working, things, things are pretty fast. And we usually have about six hours throughout the day to get the groups out and, and running. You know, and there's other things like when I was asked to <clears throat> to do the best practices, to write the best practices. I didn't know it was gonna go into the lease or be a, basically rules. Uh, we were asked to write the best practices and you're what do you see in the future as the very best things that you could do with the kennel and the dogs? Um, there's a lot of things that I never thought about. 